Hello and welcome to the channel. I am your host, JB Wargamer87, and in this quick showcase video, I'm going to show you the latest project that I've completed on the channel. It is the Super Bane Blade, the Quad Sponson Super Heavy Bane Blade. All the variants, every single variant, imagine uh, you can have for your Super Heavy tank. Uh, fighting options. So here it is. Uh, it's taken some time to paint but at long last it is finished and it is exciting to say that I have now have three super heavy tanks now in my Astra Militarum collection. Uh, so this is the second Bane Blade that I've painted and of course it's it's the second Shadow Sword variant that I've done as well. But there's three Super Heavies now in total. I will be adding more Super Heavies uh, to the 18th Cadian Army Group. So it's really, really exciting stuff here. So um, at the end of this video, you will get to see all the variants and see them in their glory and all their configurations, what the names are of each of the variants you can have for the Super Heavy uh, tank collection. So this is all the options here. All the patterning is uh, matched and blended in as well. All the insignia is completed as well and of course it is fully magnetized. So the quad sponsons here as you can see they're fully magnetized. You can have a four sponson las cannons and of course you can have just the plain armor plate uh, just for there. Now as this is a command bane blade, uh, it's going to have a spot, uh, single uh, sponson uh, weapons. So at least it will have two sponson weapons on the side as instead of uh, four sponson weapons. This is the major. He is in command. It is the bane blade dauntless. Dauntless is the option, as you can see here as well. He's taken a lot of kills, super heavy uh, kills as well. Uh, the uh, sponson weapons are magnetized. These are magnetized as well, so I can configure the uh, heavy flamer options as well that I can have. The Hellhammer variant, Shadow Sword variants, and everything like that. So let's have a quick look here. So these are the latest techniques that I've uh, done now. And I have to say, in my opinion, it is a lot better way of painting uh, than what I used to do uh, with my previous projects when it comes to painting the tanks of the Astra Militarum. Looks absolutely fantastic. I've applied uh, new techniques as well. Uh, I've even done the uh, shining effects on the gun sights and of course the light LED uh, as well. All the insignia is complete so if you watch my uh, JB Wargamer 87 uh, tutorial, uh, uh, not tutorial, sorry, the um, uh, narrative series, you will get to uh, identify what the insignia is uh, for this particular vehicle. So, for the Astra Militarum Super Heavy uh, vehicles, uh, they are configured, uh, I do uh, Cadian Super Heavy tank companies into either three Super Heavies. Or four and then uh, you can sort out how you'd like to organize them and that kind of thing but this is the regimental tank commander uh, for the super heavy uh, tanks here I've I've got uh, there's a little bit of a teaser here I do have four more super heavies <laughs> so uh, I've got to paint uh, two more of the regular Bane blade options and then of course two Shadow Sword variants as well. But this tank here is unique because you can have magnetized every single option imaginable. Uh, the only uh, variant that uh, can't be magnetized is the Storm Blade. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't come that with the kit. So I'll probably one day add the uh, Storm Blade uh, bl Plasma Blast weapon uh, onto this kit here. But nonetheless, uh, it is done here. So the techniques I am really pleased with personally and the good news is uh, there is a painting tutorial now 
uh, which will be live on the channel. Uh, so you'll get to see that in the uh, video link description below or at the, watch at the end of this video uh, here. So exciting stuff for, for the channel. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward uh, to showing off uh, future projects when it comes to both factions as well as the Ultramarines and that of the Astra Militar. So uh, it is uh, my favourite looking tank now uh, for the Astra Militar for my collection here. I've even done the chipping effects and everything like that. So uh, it's the best that I could possibly do uh, for your viewing pleasure. So the good news is, is that painting tutorial is now live uh, just as this video has uh, popped up as well. Uh, so, uh, if you want to check out uh, more content on the channel, please consider uh, hitting that like button. Uh, leave a comment below, which is your favourite variant of the uh, Super Heavy Tank series? I'd love to know. And uh, which regiment do you present, represent in the 40k universe? And if your regiment wants to join the 18th Cadian Army Group, there's thousands of regiments uh, that have yet to be filled within the army group. Uh, so if you want to fill in your uh, space for your regiment, uh, please consider heading over to my Patreon page. And if you're a patron, uh, you get your name shouted out and uh, you get to represent a particular rank and character. And if you're uh, a higher enough tier, you could represent this very vehicle here. And one of my patrons uh, has already represented uh, this tank here already, which is uh, absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, so that's the Patreon page. That's uh, www.patreon.com forward slash jbwargamer87. Uh, as you can see right in front of you, uh, right now, you can see all the patrons that are currently uh, supporting me. Uh, on the YouTube channel. I'd like to thank them very much uh, in uh, person and on this video of course for uh, continuing um, allowing me to make more content. So without their support these videos were, would not be possible. So for as little as one pound a month uh, you can support the channel by simply heading over to uh, patreon.com forward slash jbwargamer87. I've also got some merch as well, merchandise store uh, I do have objective markers. Again, I'm thinking of uh, expanding uh, the uh, Etsy store, which is exciting stuff there. And if you want to get a super heavy tank like this and the Bane Blade, uh, do consider heading over to uh, Goblin Gaming. Uh, remember, if you use the affiliation link uh, that you see below, uh, you can uh, uh, you have my eternal thanks, and uh, it helps support the channel when using that particular link as well. So there you go. So thank you. Uh, very much for watching and now at the end credits you will see every single variant of the super heavy tank series of the Astra Militarum uh, within the Bane Blade kit from Games Workshop uh, you'll see in its full glory. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy the last segment of the video and remember if you want to know how to paint the uh, Bane Blade and Shadow Sword variants uh, do see the video uh, link. Uh, at the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching and as always, happy wargaming.